Hi guys, this is Leandro Stewart, the Food Rock host from Dem Rock Magazine. I'm here with my guys Terence. I'm here with Cliff and Al, and we're going diving. We're going to catch some fish. Let's do this. Of all days that we decide to, to do our dive, we get we get some choppy water. <laughs> we get some choppy water. Okay, so I'm here with Terence Haynes and Terence, tell me, what do you think we're gonna catch this morning if we if we go into the water? Well, this area is notorious for sea cat, which is octopus for people who don't know. Yeah. But there's also a lot of sea eggs out here. Those are banned, so you won't be touching those. But you can expect lionfish, chubs, cavalli. Um, if you get lucky, you might shoot a mackerel or a barracuda. Okay. okay. We got our fish and one nice cavalli and one small chub. I nearly drunk getting these two fish for you guys. Uh, so let me go and show you how to scale them and prepare them. And we get them roasting on a nice open fire. Okay, so we're gonna use the back of the knife to scale the fish. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make a nice incision. You want a nice sharp knife like this. You know, make a nice incision behind the neck. All of this is the fresh sea moss that's actually come out of the fish because he feeds on the reef. Um, take the, the fins off, the major fins off. We go here and we cut behind the head. that off and we're gonna go under the tummy and the thing is the thing is about this this is how the old fisher folk used to do it this is how the guys on the beach do it so apart from the fact that you know most fresh fish or most fish are very full of nutrients um, fish heads they're associated with virility so guys <laughs> Alright, I'm off to rinse these off and be back to do our roasting. Alright, so nice and clean. Let's get seasoning. Alright, so we have here some beige seasoning that I would have prepared at home earlier. Beige seasoning is basically um, fresh herbs grinded up into a moist marinade. So, there we go, the final touches of our moist marination, or what we call Beijing seasoning. That's that. You want a good strong flavor in there. Just does a little pepper on. But with a fresh fish like this, you don't even need too much salt. That's the honest truth. You don't need too much salt. It's just out the water, you know, just a little sprinkle just to make sure it's season well. Alright, so we've seasoned our fish. We're going to wrap it in some foil. This magically appeared as well. And we're going to start roasting. Now, apart from sacrificing my beautiful feet to get you this lovely shot on these jagged rocks. <laughs> what we're going to do now is take our fish. I left the tail poking out so I can pull them out of the fire. Take our fish and we're going to stuff them in this hole. Um,
just took a nice dip. It's time to see if our fish are ready. Let's go. Just taking our fish out the fire. So we're gonna unwrap them and we're gonna see how moist and succulent this fresh fish has been roasted. The smell is amazing. You can smell those fresh herbs coming out. The little guys have roasted. Look, you see how nice the head just separated from the rest of the body. Look at how moist that is. Look at how, how succulent that is. The thing is with this type of fish is they're usually full of bones. So, you know, for the younger ones or persons who aren't accustomed, be careful. But my God, it's excellent. You need, you need to take a day off to do this. If you haven't, you need to take a day off to do this. Just trust me. Wonderful. 